Learning objectives uh, include structure and function of uh, uh, atypical cell wall. There are bacteria that do not have cell wall at all. Mycoplasma is one example where there's only cell membrane and then there's a DNA and a other components like ribosomes and other components, the, the cytoplasm. Plasma membrane of these, like mycoplasma, it contains what we call sterols instead. Archaea cell wall is also unique. They have no cell wall, and if they do, it is pepti peptidoglycan-like, and that is the reason we call them pseudomurine. Pseudo means false. So it's a kind of false wall. There are no peptidoglycans, so these archaea behave like gram-negative bacteria. Mycobacterium and nocardia, these are two different kinds of bacteria. They have a special layer, what we call mycolic acid. It's a waxy uh, lipid. And then, see, this is the cell membrane here. There's a peptidoglycan layer. But then there is a mycolic acid, outermost layer, uh, waxy layer. So, and this waxy layer is connected to the peptidoglycan layer through a carbohydrate structure, which is, in this case here, is arabinogalactan. Carbofuxine is the stain, if we want to stain these mycobacteria and nocardia, it is very hard to stain them with gram staining. Although you could stain them uh, with gram staining, but there's a special stain, what is called carbofuxine, uh, which is mostly used to stain these mycobacterium and nocardia. Now, damage to the cell wall. Lysozymes that are produced in the body, like lysozymes are naturally produced in the tears and in the saliva. This can break the cell wall here. And it breaks basically the sugar-derived backbone, this, this here, here. And when it is, the cell wall is gone, the, the rest of the bacterium, along with the cell membrane, can protrude out of that broken or damaged cell wall, and this is called as protoplast. There are bacteria that if you grow them under certain conditions, uh, like maybe deficient medium, they do not synthesize or they're not able to synthesize cell wall. And such bacteria, they're called L-form bacteria. So they basically lose their cell wall. So in summary, some bacteria inherently lack cell wall. And we notice that archaea don't have a typical cell wall, but they do have a peptidoglycan-like structure, what we call pseudomurine. And mycobacterium and nocardia, they had a mycolic acid as a special component. And digestion with lysozyme leads to uh, cells without cell wall, uh, kind of spherical structures, which we call protoplast.